Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Memo actors young Sheldon cancellation criticism is proven right by new CBS data. Annie Potts' criticism of Young Sheldon's cancellation is proven by new CBS viewership data that reveals that it remained TV's number one comedy when it ended. The emotional final of Young Sheldon wrapped up the Cooper story, but the upcoming spinoff won't include all family members. CBS could have continued the Cooper story seamlessly without launching a new show by simply rebranding Young Sheldon as a proper end symbol show. Weeks after it ended, Mimo actors' criticism over Young Sheldon's cancellation is proven by new data from CBS. On the heels of the dual strikes of 2023 and the delayed start of the whole TV year, it was announced that Young Sheldon would be ending with a shortened seventh season. Rumbles about the show wrapping up, however, started even before the Young Sheldon season six final as the prequel reached the point in the timeline where Sheldon was supposed to leave Texas and move to California. Despite that, however, the confirmation about the show ending didn't come until several months later. After significantly fewer episodes, the young Sheldon final delivered an emotional send-off for the Coopers. Tackling the aftermath of George's tragic death, the first half of the series' capper was devoted to his funeral. After that, the prequel shifted its storytelling to ending Sheldon's story in Texas and transitioning him into his new life at Caltech. The ending was objectively good, especially in light of several disappointing finals. That said, there has been an argument that young Sheldon shouldn't have ended with season 7. Potts has echoed that sentiment and a fresh update proves she is correct. Before the show entered its final month, Potts openly criticized young Sheldon's cancellation, citing how it was a bad business move, considering how popular the series was. She also revealed that they were ambushed by the decision to end the Big Bang Theory prequel. Several weeks after the project officially wrapped up its run, the official viewership data from the shortened 2023 to 2024 TV season confirms her claims, with Young Sheldon being the most watched comedy of the year via TV line. Overall, it posted 9.3 million weekly viewers, a far cry from the second place, Ghost, with 8.2 million. Since The Big Bang Theory ended in 2019, its spinoff took over its place as TV's number one comedy. By the time Young Sheldon wrapped up, it had won that accolade five years in a row, which is a testament to its consistency. Even as the series evolved beyond its original premise and transitioned to become more like an ensemble show, it was able to maintain its success and viewership. Looking at these numbers, it's difficult not to agree with Potts' sentiments.